By order of the Bemidji City Council, it's back to the drawing board for the architects who did the design for the Paul Bunyan Park. Our Josh Peterson was at the council meeting where passion and tempers flared over Bemidji's town square. With the council chambers filled to capacity, council members heard heartfelt and passionate testimony over the design plans for Paul Bunyan Park, specifically targeting the giant dirt and boulder pile in front of Bemidji's iconic statues of Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. I plead with you to please listen, listen to the community, listen to the 1,200 12, people that voted on the Pioneer website. I don't think it's that important when we're looking at something so important. I think to take a step back, take our time and do it right. One by and one, one after another, passionate and concerned, Bemidji citizens were lined up to share. Some with their own personal stories and some with their own ideas that they felt would be a better representation for Bemidji's main host. This is how we do it in my estimation. Remove the boulders, Remove the mound, <laughs> remove the stump, and keep a beautiful open view of Paul and Babe to Paul Bunyan Drive. Out of the 19 that spoke out in favor of removing the current design, only three spoke in favor of keeping it. At one point, council members had to be brought to order when outbursts were made directly at specific members in the audience. You're going to wonder why we perhaps caved to a little bit of pressure. This is a tremendous amount of pressure. Where are they? You know, um, where were you, ma'am, when this process was going on, when it was appropriate for you to give your comments? Council Member Olson, we're not um, having a discussion with sorry. you. Sorry. Then, after nearly two and a half hours of discussion, the motion was made by Council Member Roger Helquist and was seconded by Council Member Ron Johnson to remove the boulders, the mound, the stump, restore the Girl Scout flower garden, and relocate the Nimi sculpture to the south side of the park. The motion passed 5-2 to two with council members Reed Olson and Michael Mielhouse voting no. While construction is still moving forward elsewhere in the park, new plans for an open view of Paul and Babe are now being made. For Lakeland News, I'm Josh Peterson. And those new plans for Paul Bunyan Park are now being drawn up and will be presented to the Bemidji City Council. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.